iOS 26.1 just unlocked six hidden settings that instantly fix the most annoying iPhone problems. And most people don't even know they exist. So here are six hidden settings that make the biggest difference. So if your iPhone's been feeling messy or laggy or just straight up off, these hidden settings might just transform your whole experience. So let's jump right into this video and fix your iPhone so it finally feels smooth, clean, and actually normal again. Yes. So the first thing we're going to talk about in iOS 26.1 is UI borders. This makes your iPhone look cleaner immediately. So we're going to go to settings, accessibility, display, and text size, and we're going to turn on borders. So when we go to we turn on borders, your whole entire iPhone, it adds a subtle outline around notifications, like you see here, around the widgets, and also the control center. Then also, if you look at your widget page, and then also in your app library, so everything looks nice and clean. And has a border around it. Even when you go into like, we go into like Safari, you get this border around, so everything is, it looks a lot cleaner. So when you scroll, you can actually see exactly what you're doing. Everything becomes easier to read and easier to tap because everything is outlined. Even on your lock screen, you get this border-like effect around your time, around the actual widgets, where your controls down at the bottom. So everything looks a lot professional and cleaner. Now on for the next thing, which is the camera control button right here. So if your camera keeps opening by mistake, this setting actually fixes it. So we're gonna go into settings, go down, scroll down to camera, and then we're gonna go up here to camera controls to double click instead of single click. Single click, you press it by accident and it actually opens the camera like I do right here. And if I double click, that means I have to double click it like that for the camera to open, which is a lot better. By adding double click, you don't actually hit the actual camera control button by accident. So if you're liking these fixes, check out my latest iOS 26 beta three video. I showed the weird speed and battery changes that Apple didn't mention. And I'll add this at the end of this video so you can go check it out. Now next we're going to go on to reduce flashing lights. Perfect if flashing videos actually bother your eyes. So we're going to go to settings, down to accessibility. We're going to go to motion, then go down to dim flashing lights, which as you see right here, I have mine toggled on already because I also have problems with video content that depicts repeated flashing or strobing lights. And with this toggle turned on, it will be automatically dim. So I actually leave this toggle actually on. But if that doesn't bother you, you can always toggle it off. So it automatically dims intense flashes inside of, inside of any videos, like you see right here. All right, next we're going to talk about display flash alerts. And this one's actually inside of iOS 26.2 and you'll never miss alerts again with this one. Your iPhone can now flash the display when notifications hit. So when notifications hit, so we gotta go into settings, go down to accessibility, and then audio and visual. Scroll down till we get to audio and visual. Flash for alerts. Scroll down till we get to flash for alerts all the way at the bottom. And we turn this on so you'll be able to use led flash you can use the display screen or you can use both and you can have this toggle on to flash when it's unlocked also flash was in silent mode or you can have one or the other turned on or turned off as you see right here so i don't actually use those because it messes with my eyes but here's the setting to be able to turn it on if you do want it because I know a lot of people 
they like they they always like when they got a notification, their flashlight flash, letting them know that they have a missed call or something like that. So with this new feature in iOS 26.2, you can actually have all of these different options. So all right, so next we're going to talk about let's take out the full screen screenshot preview feature from iOS 26.1. Make your iPhone feel instantly faster when you disable this option. So we're going to go into settings, then we're going to go to general, and then we're going to go to screen capture, and then we're going to go to full screen preview. Like if right now, if I do a screenshot, as you notice, we get all of these options as search. Now, if you don't want that, and this is the option I'm talking about right now, we actually can toggle that off. And you can go back to the regular style by hitting the screenshot and you can bring it up like that. And you actually you still get the same option, but you won't have to worry about clicking it. You can just swipe that away just like that. So that's full screen previews. I actually like it. So mine can actually come up like this because sometimes when I'm doing a screenshot or something, I might want to ask or either search for those options. So say for instance, uh, screen capture, I could do that. And then I could look it up on Google just like I just did like that. So it'll show me whatever is actually on the screen, which I think is pretty cool. That's why I actually leave it on. But up to you, to each his own, like I say. All right, next we're gonna go to disable lock screen camera swipe. And this one is actually in iOS 26.2 beta 3. So this finally stops one of the iPhone's most frustrating habits on the iPhone. We go into settings and we scroll down to camera and then scroll all the way to the bottom. We're going to toggle off swipe left on lock screen to quickly access your camera from your lock screen. So now you can say goodbye to those annoying pesky camera pop-ups when you're on your lock screen. So your actual camera don't actually open. So when this is toggled on and we go down to notifications, we actually can turn that pesky camera option back on, but we don't want that. So we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna toggle this off. So now when we go to the lock screen, there's no more opening the camera no more, which is very, very good and cool. Whether you're holding your iPhone or if you just have it in your pocket, you don't have to worry about your camera opening anymore like that. So if there are some of these settings that you haven't spotted yet, don't worry. They're coming to iOS 26.2, which will be available for everyone starting in December. So I just wanted to mention the two extra ones that I added in this video. So you have an idea of what you'll be looking for when iOS 26.2 comes up. If you have any other questions, let me know about the update. And if you want to see the weird changes Apple made in iOS 26 beta 3, watch this video right here next, and I'll break down everything Apple didn't mention. All right, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like. And if you're new to Mr. Noble TV, smash that subscribe. And don't forget to hit that hype button. It helps boost the channel. And I'll see you in the next iOS 26 video. Peace.